Welcome back to Most Buffalo. And this next story has a lot of the elements that we love to highlight on this show. Inspiring people, entrepreneurship, and a big love for furry friends. And you will find all of that in Sarah DeMerle, who is the founder and leader of 716 Dog Pack. Sarah's found a way to make her passion her profession, bringing her love of animals and her knowledge of the very latest in dog care and training together to help humans and their four-legged friends live better lives. Recently, Sarah was gracious enough to allow photojournalist Franco Ardito and I a chance to join the pack. This isn't just pet dog walking, you know, it's not, there's so much more to it than just a walk. So this is Teddy, behind him is Seamus, this is Lucy, Ruby, Zelda, <laughs> Macy, nope, good girl, POTUS, and Harold. They learn basic manners, they learn how to calm their energy down, they learn how to interact with people, with dogs that come across, you know, from a distance, which is important. You know, they don't have them come right in, of course, but from a distance is important. Uh, uh, most people say, oh, my dog goes crazy when the dog's across the street. You know, this is such a chance that they get. People will see dogs and just be excited about like, yay, you know, I am an mm -hmm. animal lover, mm -hmm. but still when you come in, you kind of want to just sort of ease yeah. into the situation and, and not go right up to them right away. Absolutely, so the excitement gets them into trouble. You know, if you think of any kind of unwanted behavior, jumping, you know, um, any kind of, they're excited about a squirrel going past. Um, a f even fighting stems from excitement. So I really try to keep them calm and relaxed when we're walking. Any dog anywhere most often really wants to have a, re a relationship with a human. They like you, they accept you. It really, <laughs> that's one of the nicest things that I think could happen to a person <laughs> to be accepted by this gang. So then, and then I'll remind you, it's supposed to be a very relaxed walk and they're supposed to be behind, so there will be some correcting in that. Lucy, they really should be in a follower's state of mind. Part of it is Seems leadership, over here. and then the other part Stop. is the management of the group. Seamus. And it makes them more comfortable as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, makes them more comfortable, yep. Lucy. This is a service that you provide, is to help people, you know, get their dogs out, get some exercise. Yep. But just from what, you know, in talking to you already, it's so much more than that. It's so much more than that. It's like school, honestly, you know? I think they get a free-for-all a lot of times, like in dog daycares and things like that. And this is more, I'm teaching them polite to be polite, to have manners. You know, I'm teaching them um, uh, behaviors that they, they, they don't necessarily practice if they're inside, of course. I started as a dog trainer um, and then slowly became a behaviorist. So I would start to go into people's homes and help them with their relationship with their dog. So here we go. So they're used to it. Every Tuesday and Thursday I walk, we go, uh, we move forward. We know what we're doing. We know we get in the van, we go for an hour walk, and then we get dropped off. It's so quiet, yeah. it's so beautiful. So then they start to um, trust it because it's a routine. When yeah. you first try something new, it's right. a little bit scary. You don't know what to mm -hmm. expect. Then it's like, okay, cool. Sit down, you're fine. You're okay. I know what to expect when I get there. I know who's mm -hmm. gonna be there exactly. and, yeah. and you mm -hmm. know, I'm ready for that. They're out for about three to four hours, you know, because they do the full pickup, then, then the walk for an hour, and then, then the drop off too. So they really get a chance to have an adventure. Mm. You are lucky dogs, I hope you know that. <laughs> it is the most rewarding job, and I am able to make a living. Oh my gosh. Aren't they great? Yeah, and she's that, great. Yeah, and that's just one of a bunch of packs. So she does this with a bunch of different groups of dogs throughout the week, and they all have their different days. Um, if you're wondering about cost, it's $35 her dog, okay. but she picks them up. She says it's like school, it is, and she's the bus. She comes with her van and she picks them up and then they go for their walk and then they all go home again. Um, she also does special hikes. She's a dog trainer, as she Obviously. mentioned there as well. Um, and you can learn all about this um, on her website, 716dogpack.com. We also have links on our website to everything, wgrz.com as well. She's on Facebook and Instagram. She shares some of these great pictures all the time and they go out Whatever the weather, she has raincoats. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> for the dogs if they need them. They're so cute. But it, I mean, it really is. I mean, you mentioned they're so calm, um, and they. It really is something to see. And she's just such a, I think, special human as well. And she has this wonderful connection with them, and it's it's great to see. It's not the dog; it's the way they're trained. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are a lot of bully breeds I saw. Yeah. They all look great. And you learn a lot. And she said even just energy, you know, we all are like, oh, I love your dog. And she said sometimes that can make sure. dogs nervous. So you just kind of kind of just be cool was her message. Be, you will be cool. <laughs>